Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Andre Brown. I'm a wedding and portrait photographer based in Atlanta, Georgia. And today we're gonna to be going over studio portraits with constant light. This is our model, Alexis, who's gonna be working with us today. And we're gonna get some fantastic portraits of her. So first, let's talk about the lighting breakdown that we have. As you can see, we already have our key light set up. This is the Nan Light Forza 720B. This is a bicolor light. So if you're not familiar with bicolor lights, you have the ability to be able to change your white balance from daylight to tungsten just with the flip of a switch. Now, this light is currently modified with my Westcott seven foot umbrella. This is a silver umbrella, but we do have it uh, modified with a scrim so that we can get nice soft light on our model. Now, if you can see, I currently have the light turned away from Alexis, and that's mainly because I wanna be able to control the light spill. If we turn the light here back toward the background, you see how now we have this large illumination of light on our backdrop, which I wanna avoid. I wanna be able to control the light as much as humanly possible. So I have it feathered away, and I'm using this corner edge of the light to be able to throw that light here on Alexis so that we can reduce the spill on the backdrop as much as possible. Now for our second light on the other side, we have a Nanlite Forza 500B. This is also a bicolor light, and I currently have it modified with barn doors and a 40 degree grid. So as we start to work through our portraits, I'll actually take some portraits of just the key light and some additional portraits with our secondary hair light so that you can see the difference and see how they both impact our image. So now we're just going to go ahead and start taking some portraits and see what we get. All right, so today we're actually going to be shooting with the Canon R5 along with the 28 to 70 f2 lens. This is one of my favorite setups for studio. One, because the R5 is just a fantastic camera, right? We have high dynamic range. The autofocus is amazing. But also the 28 to 70, I can get down to f2. This has become my new favorite lens in studio and when I'm shooting weddings. So actually today what we're, we're going to do is we're going to shoot at f2 because I wanna get that soft, creamy look on the backdrop, and then we'll adjust the rest of our settings to accommodate so that we have perfect exposure on her. All right, so now that we have our settings where we want them to be, I'm actually gonna go ahead and take a shot with just our main light so we can see exactly what it looks like and then build on the rest of the lights from there. Now, as you can see, our key light is giving us some great light on her, but the problem that I'm having is our left side is just too much shadow going on. So I'm actually gonna go and bring a V-flat in, pop it in, add a little bit more light to the left side of the frame so that we can bring out the details on the left side. So if you can see, as we brought in that V-flat, now our key light is able to reflect off of the V-flat onto the right side of her face, and now we can lift those shadows. So now we'll take some more pictures, compare them to the first one so that you can see what the difference is. Perfect. Now, as you can see, with us adding in that V-flat, we're getting so much more detail on our camera left side, and it's just lifting those shadows, and we're getting some fantastic portraits. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna add in our hair light. So we have the kicker set up back there, and we're gonna turn it on to add a little bit more depth and dimension to our, our portraits, and be able to make Alexis pop off of the background. Now, the best part about these NAN lights is, only thing that I have to do is come over to the Nanlink app and I can turn on that light without having to go on over and do it manually. Let's pose through this. So 
So as you can see with this, adding just that little kicker light to the back, we're getting a nice little rim on the side of her hair and creating some great separation from our background. So let's move forward. We're actually gonna bring in some apple boxes and let her have a seat. And you'll be able to see that because we have these huge seven foot umbrella here, that we don't even have to do anything to change our light. We're still gonna get that nice soft light on Alexis and get some fantastic portraits. So I'm actually just gonna have you sit here and then one leg up, one leg down, and you can do things like playing the hair, whichever way is more comfortable, but I think the other way is perfectly fine, okay? Close that knee down there for me. Perfect. So as you can see that since we have this seven foot umbrella, we didn't even have to change the light. She's seated. We got fantastic light on her when she was standing. We got fantastic light. And the same goes for our kicker light. So we're still getting the highlight on the side of her hair. And it's just giving us great separation. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this information was very helpful to help you get started with using constant lights inside of the studio. And if you enjoyed this content, then be sure you come back and join us for more photography tips.